Lagos Photo Festival, an interactive program that features exhibitions, workshops, screening, and outdoor installations, with this year's event titled Remember Me, Liberated Bodies, Charged Objects, which explores how the media influence, shape, archive, and order memories that affect communities and individual identities. The theme of uh, Liberated Bodies, Charged Objects, really uh, focuses on the power of photography to bring past and future conversations into the present time. And I think over the last four or five years, the dominant topic around the art world has been about restitution of cultural artifacts. But we're interested in restitution of memories, and that's what images can do. Images can trap the moment in time and bring it to the present moment. Through photography, these creatives say that words cannot speak capturing moments that impact the society and share interesting stories that resonate with the audience. There are so many beautiful little short stories that you can find from each body of work from, for each artist. A lot of it deals with the main urgent issues of our day, like ecology, climate change, and um, the intelligence to tackle these problems really lie in going back to learn from our custodians, from our forebears, who had a different idea around um, ownership, capitalism, consumption. You know, our forebears um, and African tradition really focused on looking after things for the next generation. Some of the photographers go back memory lane to scenarios that rocked the boat. I have two works here, and um, one of it is about the Entas, right? So in 2019, in uh, a young graduate uh, who was supposed to pass out for his project, right, supposed to have his project, um, died by su suicide uh, due to police brutality. Um, and so the, the, there was a judiciary panel to look into the case, uh, and I picked up an interest because it was so. I mean, this was shot in Abeokuta, this happened in Abeokuta State. And uh, I also find out that there were not a lot of media who were speaking about um, this issue, the police brutality issue. It was more focused in Lagos. So I, I chose to document this in the court and sort of like be a, a voice to the, uh, to the victim uh, and also to the mother of, of, the, of the victim. These creatives have used a medium which speaks louder than words to send a message to the audience, one that speaks volumes.